So we talked about the polymerization where you have a subunit. You, you take that subunit and you combine the subunits together using dehydration synthesis into this long linear molecule that we call a polymer. And the individual subunits are now called these moieties within the polymer. Well, this is how proteins work. In proteins, the subunit is an amino acid, which I'm just representing as a circle here. And of course, the AA stands for amino acid. And the process of synthesis of proteins actually is the process of the synthesis of what are known as polypeptides. The polypeptides are the actual chains. That's actually supposed to be a chain of amino acids. And these amino acids have been connected together via dehydration synthesis. A water molecule has been removed from each one to connect them all together. And these polypeptides, this is a smaller peptide. The polypeptide is, is many more of these amino acids, say uh, somewhere between many, many tens and hundreds or even thousands of amino acids. And this too actually is a linear chain if you follow this. It goes around something like, like that, fun with PowerPoint. And that's called a polypeptide. And the polypeptide is actually the, actually the linear polymer that's made up of amino acids. And it's the combining of one or more polypeptides with other kinds of substances. So that's one polypeptide, that's another, that's another, and that's some other non-amino acid-based substance. It's the combining of these multiple, one or more polypeptides with non-amino acid substances that, in fact, are the proteins. So what you see here is the subunit that makes up polypeptides, the polypeptides, which are chains of these subunits, the amino acids. And then this is an example of a protein. This protein happens to consist of three different or maybe three identical, no, three different polypeptides and some other substance.